Hi, I'm Rob from Hobbsing. Thanks for joining me for another video of beer review. This time I've got a can of beer from Cladwater in Manchester. It's a can over there. Everybody else is doing it. <laughs> it's a quadruple dry hopped pale ale at 5.5% ABV. As you can see, this was brewed for, um, in, in celebration of Cladwater's uh, friends and family beer festival. As you can see, brewed in collaboration with Dana and Verdon. I guess when you do, got all those kind of juice mongers. In the um in the brewery you've got it that's how it's going to be just silly amounts of i think it's like 30 odd grams per liter or something like that it was silly amounts of hops um so it says it don't have, give you any details anymore because you have some like tasters and all that kind of like jazz that's what it says on the back there you go so let's get this open into a glass look at that glass what's that glass you say what's that weird little glass you've got well this was the glass from the friends and family beer festival so i thought that was soup suitable i think the, probably brewed it around the time of the festival it's out now so let's get this into a glass and see what we've got and as expected i mean i'd say that's unclear for years really i mean that's that is pretty turbid looking glass of beer um nice brisk carbonation to it um pure white foam on tops so let's give it a swell sniff check out the aroma yeah that's nice it's more citrus forward than i expected it's kind of citrus and dankness and kind of mentally. Pineapple coming through, but I'm getting the hint of kind of, there's a certain salinity to it, a bit of saltiness. Definitely kind of gooseberry, maybe a bit of melon, but definitely white grape. White grape, pineapple, and that kind of like quite a musty dankness. Slightly grassy. Hmm. Maybe it's not what I quite expected. It's a lot more dank than fruity. It smells good though. It doesn't smell ridiculous. Anyway, let's dive in. Cheers. Hmm. It's got a lot of hops in it. <laughs> really it's really quite dry it's quite bitter and that's thing that's probably but but they didn't like with bitter additions that's probably just a one of those things where you put a lot of hops in it you always gonna it's quite a dry bitter once again it's kind of leafy um definitely dank not resinous but kind of you know, very very mental forward. Yeah. Hmm. Wow, this one falls short. Hmm. This kind of takes me back to beers like. Um, well, I thought it was just going to be quadruple dry hopped. I thought it would just going to be juicy. I mean, low ABV, uber juicy. Well, that's bad, but it does take me in the direction of like Mikla. Mikla did a beer called um, um, 1000 IBU Ultra Mate, which is the most bitter beer I've ever ever had. So if you look on, if you look on my channel or search for the most bitter beer in the world, you probably find that review, and it's edging towards that. That one just like, ugh. but this has got that kind of a flat, uh, like hair lacquer at the back of your throat kind of bitterness. I expected a lot more juicy than that. Dry, bitter, uber dry. So what was it saying? So I'm going to give this spiel on the back. Mm, see if I'm missing something. The sixth in the series collaboration brews for our festival, friends and family, blah, blah, yada, 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 and Daya. I thought there was only one direction we could go in. Well, we're big, big on the hops. This quadruple dry hop pale ale and tends to provide huge aromas, flavours carried by a smooth, easy drinking body. I'd say near. Uh, aromas, big pineapple notes lead, followed by tangerine and lime. No. No, maybe, maybe, the, maybe I'd say the lime. Pineapple now. It's really kind of mental forward. Flavours, body, smooth. Medium to full, with a juicy finish. No, it's got 
a an insanely dry bitter finish aftertaste big resinous top accents lasting juicy tangerine no 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 none of that it's resinous and and, and kind of edging on unpleasantly bitter what am i missing i mean i get grapefruit and menthol and dry kind of crushing bitterness and it really kind of like catches the, uh, the back of the throat now this is that's nothing like what it says on the back of the can nothing like it nothing like it triple drop quadruple dry helped no i mean it, if you give me this blind i would never say anything like that i would never pick any of these breweries to brew this beer because it's that you know it's that kind of like bitterness you're getting like um nanny state and stuff is that real kind of like ah, catches you back of the throat read the back of that and then drink this beer no not at all it's not even close that is odd that is really odd i've got a dodgy can so that's uber bitter uber bitter and really dry i feel it on my teeth I feel it completely dry me out weird menthol dank dry and bitter and dry not what it says on that it's not it's not terrible i will soldier through it it cost me a lot of money with this beer but that probably for me is one of the biggest misses i've i've experienced in a while hmm. i say no to um cloud waters everybody else is doing it thankfully not everybody else is doing this because that is missing the mark wildly what is going on hmm rock and popsy Pretty big letdown, I've got, I've got to say. See you next time. Cheers.